so there's so many different forms and traditions of um, spirituality, of mysticism, of religion. Why Kabbalah? Um, why Kabbalah? I, it's something I gravitated towards in my late teens. I, I was fascinated by um, every esoteric and mystical and religious books that I could lay my hands on. And uh, Kabbalah was the thing that stuck. It was the thing that really impressed me, and I can't say why. Um, I think I can rationalise it now. I, I just... Uh, to many people it might seem a, bit, a little bit exotic and alien, it's Jewish, it's got Hebrew in it. Um, um, but at the same time you have to remember that the Bible is, is Jewish and it has Hebrew in it. Um, it's coming from the same place, it's coming from you know, European culture, um, came from the Greeks and the Romans. Um, and the Hebrews, uh, you look at the key languages uh, that people learned when, you know, scholars of the 18th, 19th century, they'd learn Latin, Greek and Hebrew. Um, and uh, I felt I was immersing myself in that. It, it was like, it was like this vast world had opened up for me. And uh, I still feel like that. I still feel like it's a vast and uh, completely absorbing world of of ancient knowledge and it is there is genuine knowledge in there uh, there's a lot of stuff that's a bit weird and a bit uh, eccentric and, and wrong um, but there's also stuff that's very very deep and perceptive and worth knowing about